Nope. He has a bite history and has not been groomed in a year. Today he's here in the hopes he can get a completed groom and I can identify his triggers. This is Yogi and he's a four-year-old golden retriever and poodle mix. You're okay. I've been told that you don't like to stand. Not a big fan of standing? Okay, we are going to shave you because you are matted. Good boy. I'm shaving him down today in a number seven. And obviously, Yogi is very nervous. He pooped on the table. I knew I smelled something. In case you're wondering, pooping on the table is a regular occurrence in the grooming industry. Yogi's owners brought him in wearing a muzzle because they wanted to be proactive of his potential reactive temperament. It's okay. It's okay. At just a year old, Yogi was kicked in the head by someone who decided they just didn't like dogs. This experience left him with trauma related to strangers, so it's no surprise he developed fear aggression. Aggression in dogs is a form of self-defense. When a dog feels threatened, they may use body language or behaviors to drive the threat away. A frightened dog may freeze, flee, or fight. This fear could be towards people, objects, or other dogs. It's important to understand that fear aggression doesn't mean you have an aggressive dog. It's okay. It's okay. Okay? It's okay. You're gonna have to turn though. We're jumping out of the tub, all right? Turn, come on. No, nope. good boy, good boy. But it does mean your dog requires help from a professional trainer. Okay, I'm gonna take your muzzle off and we're gonna wash your face, okay? Fortunately for Yogi, his owners have had him enrolled in training for years and he is showing major improvements. I am bathing him today in the shedding shampoo because despite what some may believe, doodles can and do shed and they are not hypoallergenic. are atrociously long. Atrociously long. Thank you. It's like he knows the blow dryer is coming. He's like, please don't. Please don't. Up, 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 up. Come on. Come on. A lot of people ask me why it's okay to shave doodles, considering they also have a double coat. The answer to that is that humans have bred a double-coated dog with fur to a dog with continuously growing hair. The mix between the two has resulted in a complicated coat that also continuously grows. It can be difficult to maintain, is often matted, 
and requires regular haircuts. Why are you doing that? Because he doesn't need it. He's not reactive. After working on Yogi for over an hour, I have identified his triggers. He doesn't like to be forced into positions, such as putting him into a stand or forcing him to turn, and he doesn't like having his legs manipulated. For this reason, I feel safe allowing him to be free of the muzzle during his blow dry or his body shave. All in all, Yogi was a very good dog for his groom today. He needs a groomer who is willing to have bravery, as dogs can sense when you're nervous, patience, understanding, and most importantly, can read his body language. Keeping notes of his triggers will allow an even smoother groom at his next appointment. I sprayed him down in Italian lemon and sugarcane cologne, and this handsome dude is all finished. Good boy. Good boy. At least you like treats. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the grumbling yogi.